Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Rookies and Stars Football. Seven box, half case, random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 32 spots, all teams are in, all cards ship in this half case break, nice. So it's our first random team break. Big thanks to all of these wonderful people here for getting into the random team break. Did I grab all the right names, right? From, from Gail down to Tony? And there are the teams right there. I think Jason knocked out most of the picker teams over the weekend or on Monday. Let's roll it, randomize it, five and a five, ten times for each list. Five six seven nine and once more, right? Yep. Hard ten. Tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Sean Maddock all the way down to TJ. Hard 10 for the teams. Nine and 10th and final time. After 10, we got the Titans down to the Seahawks. All right, Sean with the Titans, Nick with the Steelers, Andrew Herman with my Raiders, Kurt with the Cowboys, Ricky J with the Saints, Gail with the Bengals, Arthur with the Packers, Mark with the Dolphins, Tony with the Vikings, Last Spot Mojo, Karen with the Falcons, Josh with the Giants, Jorge with the Eagles, Rick with the Ravens, Chad with the Chargers, Chris with the Jets, Matthew with the Niners, Serenity with the Cardinals. Um, did I say Raven? Did I say Cardinals again twice? Serenity with the Cardinals, Jose with the Browns, Nick with the Panthers, Fouad with the Washington football team, Eric with the Chiefs, Ron with the uh, Texans, Jimmy with the Bears, Sean with the Bills, Victor with the Lions, Chad with the Rams and Buccaneers, Gail with the Patriots, Tony with the Jags, Anthony with the Broncos, Eric with the Colts, and TJ with the Seattle Seahawks. All right, let's get all this on one screen. Now feel free to trade if you would like. And while you're considering a deal... I'm going to flip screens just for a moment. We're going to open up this fresh case of 2020 Panini Rookies and Stars and then see which uh, half case we're going to do. 14 boxes a case, 7 box break. So we'll go one, two, three for that row right there and four, five, six for this row here. We're gonna select that die right over there. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's gonna be six. So I'm gonna do this side right here. This side we will save for next time. So we'll put two right there so we know it's for break two. Set those back there. And any trades or should we just go? Anybody actually here for this break? I don't see anyone chatting. Is the chat working? Matt's here. Okay, so Matthew is here. All right, maybe we'll just roll. Let's just go. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip.
And this break should take about, I think this these half cases were taking Jason about 40, 45 minutes. So we should be able to finish this in about that amount of time. There's the final printout right here. And after that, where's, where's, where's my schedule here? Chronicles 379 is going to go off, which sells out Prism Basketball, one box, first off the line, number two. And then we'll go through some more orders and we'll see what we can get into after that. Bunch of other breaks that were close. So I think we added some more no huddle to the site, Prism no huddle, if you want to get into that. Contenders Baseball, I know, is pretty close to filling up. I don't know if you overheard Sean and I talking about our teams, but bad bad week for Sean's Chargers, bad week for my my Raiders. Just bad day at the office. I saw Anthony Lynn trying to trying to send the the field goal unit out with about I don't know what, 20, 30 seconds left in the game. They were down a touchdown, which just kind of doesn't make sense. And they were like fourth and goal or something like that. A few yards just didn't make sense. Raiders just got smoked by the by the Falcons. There's just no doubt about that. Just bad turnovers from Derek Carr. There he is right there. I think he threw an interception. You know, fumbled the ball away a couple times, and and then that the rest was history. There's James Morgan, autograph to seventy five for uh, for the for Chris Parent and the Jets. Cam Akers to 75, and we'll sleeve all of those a little bit later, just in the interest of time. To 25, there's Michael Pittman Jr. <laughs> no, originally he read it correctly. We had to we had to correct that that mistake. Odell Beckham Jr. But it's fixed now. There's rookies and stars. Joshua Kelly to 199. That'll be for Chad and the Bolts. <laughs> we would have like canceled his order. If someone would be like, nope, if that's why you bought it, sorry. <laughs> if it's too good to be true, folks. It probably is. With our profuse apologies, of course. There's Chase Young to 10. There's Matthew Stafford to 35. Fuad with the Washington football team. What else has this is this is a sad day for for all the Jaspies because the Eagles did not look good last night either. Man, all over no no winners for Jaspie teams. There's high octane relic Terry McLaurin to one ninety nine. There's Tua to ninety nine. I know why. Why is Atlanta busy winning games? What's what's wrong with them? I don't want to hit. I guess maybe maybe they're playing for the the interim coach. They want him to be non interim coach, full time coach. Next box, Marco. Welcome. Right, it is. It, it's Morris's fault. All right, next one. 
We, uh, we don't do any live entry type things here. Everything needs to be purchased through the website, Marco. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Even any, even uh, any like fillers and stuff that we do will all appear as a product on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Let's see what else happened in the NFL. Giants edged out the Bengals. Giants have won three straight games for the first time since 2016. And I'm pretty sure that they are leading the division now, the AFC, the NFC East. Which is kind of crazy to think about. And like, what, four or five wins or something like that? There's J.J. Watt and a Jordan Brooks autograph for Seattle. That'll be for T.J. and the Seahawks. the number on it. There it is, to 99. We got Nick Chubb, high octane relic, to 199. That'll be for Cleveland. That'll be for Jose with the Cleveland Browns. Browns just barely edging out the Jaguars, 27 to 25. There's Todd Gurley to 35. Russell Wilson to 35. And there's Jalen Hurts. I was kind of thought we'd see a little more Jalen Hurts in the action for the Eagles last night. That's to 199. That goes to Jorge. Although they they covered with that. That's kind of a bad beat if you had the other side. They covered with that two-point conversion. That's Brian Edwards, by the way, going to the Raiders. It's Justin Herbert, rookie. And Lynn Bowden Jr. jersey and auto dress for success. Not, not too much success there, but that goes to Andrew and the Raiders. Could be a late bloomer though, Andrew. Reggie Jackson's back to the loser LA team. Is this a basketball player, Reggie Jackson? It's Justin Herbert, rookie card going to Chad Stork. This guy's future is bright though. They just need a new coach. New coach, couple drafts. Some free agency, some good free agent window or two. There's LT to 75. Be pretty competitive. What else happened? Vi oh, Vikings with a with a comeback. I think they, they, they didn't want to win that game at all. But they came back at the very end to win 28-27, edging out the Panthers. Patriots with a 50-yard field goal at the end to beat the Cardinals. Which is pretty crazy. The... Uh, Dolphins didn't look sharp, but they didn't have to be. They were playing the Jets. They beat them 20 to 3. All right, there's Gardner Minshew. Big time relic to 199 for the Jags. Tony. Mark, what's going on? How are you? Are the Browns a Super Bowl contender? Here's a plate. Deshaun Watson, nice. It goes to Ron and the Texans. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Yeah, I mean, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I feel like the Browns have the defense. 
There's Darrington Evans for the Titans. There's Sean Matt for Sean Maddock. You know, and and that that running game is really strong. So if they can keep running the football, and then Baker Mayfield just makes the makes a big play here and there, which he is more than capable of doing. You know, he's got tons of confidence. I mean, yeah, that, I that I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I heard that too. There's to ninety nine. Darnell Mooney. People were saying that without Odell Beckham Jr., the Browns would be much better because they're because like guys like Baker Mayfield's not trying to feed Odell Beckham Jr. the ball the entire time. So now that they're not held hostage by, by Odell Beckham Jr. and his unhappiness when he doesn't get the ball, then uh, then that allows the Browns to do what they would do. There's Joe Burrow, two color dual relic, which is, you know, run first, run the ball, be a run heavy offense, and then, then pass when you need to. There's Joe Burrow, poor Joe Burrow. Gale with the Bengals. Hopefully he'll be back. To 35, there is Josh Uchi for the Patriots. Oh, this is the one we want here. Rookies and stars, Tua, Tungo Vailoa. And Matt Medlin saying OBJ is just straight trash. He would hate to play with them. Yeah, he may, he definitely makes it, like, unless Odell Beckham Jr. is on, like, a Brady-Belichick team or something like that. And even then, I mean, who knows, but... There's Michael Pittman Jr. Dress for success. I mean, I th I think I think franchises like uh, like the Browns can get pushed around by someone like Odell Beckham Jr. and just completely distract the entire team. Blue horseshoes. Eric with the Colts. Joe Free says him and Landry were pretty explosive at LSU. Sure. That's when they were like kids. You know, where the, the, the money and the national fame hasn't gone to their heads, especially Odell Beckham Jr.'s head. Many millions of dollars ago. Now, if, if the Browns had LSU's coaching, that might be a bit of a different story. But then you have an organization that didn't have the coach to kind of manage those egos and unlock the potential of what Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. could do together. All right, next box. And more for the Colts. Jonathan Taylor this time. Dressed for success. 74 out of 99. Once again for Eric and the Blue Horseshoes. This is 75. Calvin Johnson. There's Antonio Gibson. He had a great Thursday, Thanksgiving. That's to 199, dual relic. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Derek Carr's a great example, Joe. You know, Derek Carr was able to be kind of in the same system. And, and no one's mistaking Derek Carr for, like, Andrew Luck or anything like that, right? Needs a, needs a little stability, but with a little stability, he could be a more than serviceable quarterback. Now that he's with the Gruden system for a little bit, he actually has some weapons to throw to. With rugs, he's not and Aguilar too. He's not really afraid to throw down the field. This guy's pretty good. Statistical standouts: Josh Jacobs, the running game, setting up the pass. You know all the cliches. It's five out of ninety-nine jersey and autograph. Josh Jacobs. Hopefully they'll playing the Jets next. I think hopefully they better bounce back against the Jets. 
which is kind of scary because I feel like the Jets are it's hard to go 0-16 I feel like they're due for a win <laughs> hopefully it's not against my Raiders to 35 there's Drew Brees and there's DeAndre Swift Nice pass there, 19 out of 25. But yeah, good coaching goes a long way. I mean, let's see what happens. You know, Patricia's fire. We'll see what happens to to the Lions. They might have a little bit of a post coach fire boost. But I think, what, the NFL, I know this is not news to anybody, but the NFL is like truly, like, a truly a team sport. Everything has to work in, like, it's like a, it's like a symphony. Everything has to work in concert. You know, if, if, your, if your clarinet players aren't playing well, you can have the best violinist in the world, doesn't matter. And he's got pretty good, he, let's say he got a pretty good offensive line, a pretty good running game, decent passing, you know, like guys that can stretch the field, guys that can go underneath. You don't have necessarily have to have a team of pro bowlers. You get a team to just to be solid at a, at everything. And a couple breaks here and there. And coaching. There's AJ Epinesa for the Bills. Buffalo! That'll be for Sean Maddock and the Buffalo Bills. Like, imagine what, the Bear, what that Bears defense could do with a halfway decent quarterback. And maybe not even a halfway decent quarterback. Imagine what they can do with, you know, with some better coaching maybe. There's Clyde edwards Lair to 50. You know, if they can unlock a little something out of that, out of that offense. There's Jalen Hurts and Jalen Ragor, the Jalens, 17 out of 25. The Bears just need to be average. On, on, on offense with that defense of theirs. Dual relic for the Eagles, Jorge with the fly, Eagles fly. There's Saquon Barkley to 49, the Giants. And we've got Emmett Smith. Wow. Emmett Smith autograph. Rookies and Stars Crusade card, Emmett Smith. For the Dallas Cowboys, Kurt. And look at that number right there. One out of five. Better days for Dallas. This reminds Cowboys fans of better days. Kurt. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. A.J. Dillon to 99. Michael Stewart thinks, you think Trevor Lawrence is going to pull an Eli? There's Ben Rothsberger to 75. You think Clemson wants, you think, who's, who's the coach? Dabo, right? You think he wants him to stay? If I'm Dabo Sweeney, I'd be like, go, go turn pro. That's what I'd tell Trevor Lawrence. I'd be, go turn pro. Don't, like, break a leg playing a meaningless college game and lose out on millions of dollars. Don't come back. We don't want you back. Keyshawn Vaughn to the Buccaneers. I just recruited this other guy, and he wants to play. I don't want to lose him. It'd be good for the program. It'd be good for the program if, if, if they get that natural turnover in quarterbacks and keep fresh talent coming in all the time. Oh, you're Matt Bedley. You're saying, you're saying, oh, I see, I see. You're saying that Trevor Lawrence will just make it clear that he doesn't want to go to the Jets. 
Yeah, that's that's not a good way to start your career either. That's true, yeah. There's Justin Herbert, rookie card for the Bolts. Two boxes to go. Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Joe Freeze, out of five, Emmett Smith popping out there. It's a nice hit. So what do you do? I mean, so what do you do if you're if you're the Jets? You just you just not pick him? I guess you'd have to talk, sit down and talk to him at some point and be like, "All right, can we can we make this work?" Here's what we have planned, right? Yeah, we'll Dabo and Trevor both to the Jets. We're gonna we're gonna sign your uh, we're gonna sign your former head coach. He's gonna be your NFL head coach. I mean, it's it'd be a bad precedent if you if you. Uh, feel like it's bad precedent if you allow the player to dictate the team's wishes 90 out of 99 because the Jets could easily just draft him AJ Dillon for the Packers Arthur Hackett and say hey we have your draft rights and if you don't sign and play with us I mean that you might be stuck in limbo for however long Justin Herbert Keenan Allen to 199 I mean, Trevor Lawrence, if he's driving, he's, he's not going to hold out for an entire season, right? No way. There's Chase Young autograph. Look at that. To 125, the rare Chase Young auto sighting. It's a sticker, but still. That's Fuad with the Washington football team. All right, Prim's like, yeah, you can just, you can just draft him again next year. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully, as soon as the season's over, there's Willie Gay Jr. to, to 99. If you're the Jets, you just have to Fire the coach ASAP, score in the coaching market, you know, there's Jerry Judy to 25 going to Denver, and then show, like, not only Trevor Lawrence, but other draft picks, hey, this is not a, you know, this is an organization turning the corner, we need people to, we need people to be on board with this. If the Raiders can do it, why not the Jets? You know, the Raiders got – kind of have to play off your history a little bit. You know, and saying, hey, you know, we're, we are we are re, rebooting the Jets, Jets culture here. That's what the Raiders did. Raiders kind of rebooted Raiders culture, you know. And I guess they had the luxury of bringing someone like Gruden back. That's one out of five. Kyle Duggar. Nice. Uh, Patriots. Gale. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Who wants the Jets job, though, Michael Stewart? If I'm a hungry, young offensive coordinator who's never had a head coaching job before, and the Jets come talking to me and say, we're about to pay you, you know, $7 million a year or $5 million a year to be a head coach, I'd be like, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's why the Jets have to do better in the front office and the GM and all that. They have to find, like, they've got to find the coach. You know, like, Belichick is not walking through that Jets store. He already abandoned them once, you know. Like, they, they just have to... 
You know, they just they just have to I just identify that coach. Find a coach that is good. You know, you got to find all those qualities of a good head coach and try to try to get in early. Maybe you overpay for a coach. Maybe you kind of have to. That's kind of where the Jets are at. Uh, Eric the Enemy could be could be a name. You want? Uh, I'm not sure what's close. I've been doing this break the entire time, J Dog, but. I think when we started this, Contenders was close. I don't know. Check the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm actually a little ahead of schedule on this break, too, which is also good news. Um, Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel to 199. Dual relic for the Niners, Matthew Bodner. There's Jimmy G to 99. And we got Jake from State Farm autograph. Rookies and Stars auto to 60. 35 out of 60 for Sean Maddock and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! There you go. The guys are saying contenders baseball is a few spots away. With a chance to win a little bit of break credit, too. We got Bobby Wagner to 50 for the Seahawks. That'll be for TJ. And Henry Ruggs III, dual relic to 199 for my Raiders. That's going to go to Andrew. Marquise Brown to 99. No ovation for for Derek Carr last week. That was rough on Sunday. Turned it off. Turned that game off. I think third quarter. There was a turnover there somewhere. Like I think Josh Jacobs had like a really nice run. I feel like he fumbled it and turned it. And then I was just like, forget it. Ooh, Joey B. Get well soon, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow airborne autograph. For Gale and the Bengals. Gale getting randomized Cincinnati in this random team break of rookies and stars. Wow. Nine out of ten. Yeah, you're right, Michael Stewart. Joey B autograph. I didn't know if I was going to be trolled or not. Sometimes they flip this around and it's not an autograph. Oh, there it is, Joey B. Get that knee fixed up. Getting rehabbed. We should probably be seeing him around this time, around this time next year. If not a little bit ahead of schedule. Hopefully he's ahead of schedule. There's the 99. Rookies and Stars. Henry Ruggs the third. Was oh, that jersey number two, Andrew? Wow. Nice jersey number. And a plate. We've got a Justin Herbert plate. Non-auto plate. That's pretty nice. That's going to go to Chad and the Chargers. Chad, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Then we've got KJ Hamler and AJ Epinesa at the end. And there you have it, boys and girls. Break a little over half an hour. It's worth doing a quick little recap for breaks like that. Some nice stuff. Second half, that rare Chase Young autograph. He's usually a redemption. Thanks for watching and thanks for breaking with us. That Emmett Smith to five was nice. There's the number right there. Josh Jacobs autograph in the mix. That was a Deshaun Watson plate. A couple plate train whistles in here. It's not a bad break at all, actually. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time for the next one on jazpiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.